to Matilda Bella. This video is going to be about how I use PicMonkey to make shirts for merch by Amazon. Uh, I got a request from a couple people asking how I make my shirts. So I'm just going to make a little mock-up shirt and teach you guys how to use PicMonkey. Very simple program. I use the free version. Um, I have tried out the uh, free trial and it was good, but it wasn't enough to pay $48 a year for. So let me just walk you through this. The first thing you go to is design, hover over design, and go to custom size. For my size, I choose 450 by 540 because um, just add a zero, and that's how um, you would do it for um, the Merch by Amazon dimensions. But um, they don't let you go that big on PicMonkey, so we just have to subtract a zero. We still get the same little uh, frame size. So you click make it, and then you will um, be redirected to a little um, little window here. It's pretty slow. Honestly, that's why a lot of people pay for PicMonkey, because the way they get you is they um, make you buy the um, paid version to get faster speeds. So the way that it works is um, you've given this, you, you're given this little window here, and when you get done making your design, all you have to do is click transparent canvas to make it a merch shirt. Um, so what what I'll do is just go through like a text-based design. So you can use your own fonts or you can use PicMonkey's fonts. So I do a uh, little version of both. Like my favorite font in PicMonkey is the uh, small caps. This little font right here does really well. Um, a lot of shirts on Etsy have this font. So I would just go to add text and you can change the font color to anything you want. Um, I recommend a black or white font. Um, we can go ahead and go over here and change the background color to black. So let's assume that we're going to put this on a black shirt. Um, and so we want to have a white font. So we'll go up here and make it white. Um, and so what do we want the shirt to say? We can make it say uh, the struggle or something like that. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll center it and then I'm going to make it bigger. Um, again, PicMonkey is not the greatest program in the world, but it works, and it's, honestly, it's what I've been using this entire time, and I've, I'm on the, uh, a 1,000 tier now, so, so the struggle, I'm gonna bold it, and make sure it's centered, so you can use these little lines to center, or, um, they just implemented a new thing, um, if you go down here and you click on this little box, and you click alignment hints, turn it on, it will sort of tell you whether or not it's centered. See right there, it's centered. And so then you can turn it back off. Um, and so for this, you could do the struggle is real all, you know, two lines, but I prefer to just do a um, new one so that, uh, otherwise you can't put that closer together. It would just be that, that little gap there. So what I would do is I would just do the struggle and then um, that'd be one line and then I'd go up and I would add text again let's see add text and then we're gonna have a separate line and bold it center it and then we're gonna put is real and there we go so uh, this is a very uh, basic design, however, most of my designs are pretty simple. Usually it's just some text over a picture, sometimes I don't even have the picture. I find that it looks better to keep the font kind of close together. The struggle is real. And so if I was done with this shirt, what I would do is I would go into Canvas Color and click Transparent Canvas, click Apply, and then I'm going to go up here to Export. So what export does is that is saving it to your computer. And remember, we saved it. We, we did 450 by 540. So that's not the right size for merch. So after we export it, we have to do a little more work. Um, so I'm gonna, just going to save this as AAAA. Always click .png. If you don't save it .png, the file won't work. It won't save right. Don't know why this is like this for PicMonkey, but it is. So anyways, once we've named the file and then we click .png, we're ready to save it. And so it's saving that, and then it'll tell you Masterpiece saved. And so then we're going to have to go on to another program, and this is called MerchDesigner.com slash editor. It's a free program. So we said that we have a shirt that's going to go on a, or we have a design that's going to go on a black shirt. So now we're just going to click on this design program, Graphics, Upload Your Own. And what this is doing is it is um, basically saving it as the 4500 by 
um, 5400. So I make it a lot bigger than that because yeah. So one thing I'll tell you is that you want to make this a little bit smaller so it'll look right on a women's shirt. Um, so I'd make that horizontal horizontal alignment basically make sure that it's struggled. I mean it's it's centered, not struggled. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's ready. So now that I've got that on there and um, it's already aligned, then I want to go over here to download as PNG. This is going to be the final file that you use. So what do we call it? A number two dot PNG. Um, and then let's just go. You actually have to go over here and click Save As. And then do it again and do dot png and now it's saved so if i want to show you guys a little um, mock up here i can do that real quick go into create and let's see upload The main thing about that second step is getting the dimensions right, but it also helps you uh, make sure that it, the design looks right on a shirt. Um, and so PicMonkey is really what I use all the time for designing. Um, and you can make a design from scratch in this program right here if it's a text-based design. Um, but I will tell you that there's not as many fonts, so it's kind of a kind of annoying. Okay, so the struggle is real. So clearly that worked. We got the shirt, and we're going to click Save. So the my mindset for this was that it was going to go on a women's shirt. That's why it looks a little small right now. But if we click over to just women's only, then we'll see it kind of fits a lot better now. And then black background, and there we have it. The struggle is real. Um, and so that's pretty much all that there is to it with using PicMonkey. The shirt's good to go. You would just want to price it and um, sell it. Um, one more thing I'll show you on PicMonkey, we can incorporate graphics, so go over to the butterfly, click overlays, so they have their own overlays that you can choose from, but if you have vectors, um, say for instance from Pixabay that you want to incorporate, um, you can do that as well. So we're just going to go and look through some I already have on my computer, um, add your own from my computer, I have a file that's just vectors. Okay, um, so say we want to do, let's see, we'll just use anything. We'll just, so we're just going to use this donut here, and I mean you can size it any way you want. Um, basically you can change the color of it if you want. I don't recommend that unless you're just trying to make it completely white. So if you had an animal background or something, um, you could just do it totally white. So, obviously this doesn't really go together, but I'm going to show you for um, teaching purposes that you can um, click on this and click send to back, and that puts the text in front instead of in the, um, instead of behind it. So, that's one thing that you can do. And you can also um, rotate this image, so if you want to spin it, you can spin it around as much as you want. Um, you can flip it. I mean, it's really basic editor, but this is all I really use. I use this to make a um, text-based shirt. Sometimes I add a picture, sometimes I don't. Um, there's some other cool little things in here, but the main thing that you need to know is that um, the 450 by 540, because that'll get your design to scale. And if you mess up when you're first starting, you can just go into resize and go 450 by 540, and you'll want to... Um, uh, click keep proportions you don't want to keep the proportions um, but yeah that's pretty much all there is to it guys it's not that difficult I really like PicMonkey because it's simple for anybody to learn how to use um, so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section thanks for watching